All right, guys, welcome back and welcome to Late Shift. I have no idea how I ended up with this game in my library. I was just literally on Steam right now and it was recommended in my homepage. I did a little bit of due diligence and it turns out to be that this game has really good ratings. And technically, it's not a game. It's kind of like an interactive sort of movie with seven different endings. It seems to be like it's possibly the best one of its kind. We've played a couple of these in the past. And for those of you that are kind of still in the lost, let me explain. Late Shift is a high stakes FMV crime thriller. Forced into a brutal London heist, your choices matter in this interactive cinematic experience with adaptable storylines that lead to one of seven conclusions. Your decisions are you. You know, let's give this a go. Let's, let's give it a chance. It might just be really good. So let's do this. Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. Up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping. series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All wind. Now that is an 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me. Uh, Random variables. Never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street. I'm going to help him. All right, that worked out. Good. Right into it, huh? All right. Getting right into the multiple choice selection shenanigans. <laughs> so apparently we get forced into some sort of heist. Let's see. I really like the music. This guy's like, damn, that guy's life is awesome. And here I am walking. My life sucks. I've been there, done that. Oh, are we security? Right. There's two cars out. The rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. Oh, we work security at the gates. This is probably where somebody comes and we get forced into this heist, if you will. This guy looks miserable. And here they are. The most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. With a bunch of metal bimbos. <laughs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. That's hilarious. He just hopped into somebody's car. <laughs> Careful the way he's saturated with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her? Fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small, you don't even see them. 
You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. Damn, bro, that's so fucked. Dude said no tip. the girl oh forget so not exactly um oh, i'm sorry about before you know just assuming like that oh ignore him he was being an asshole <laughs> think your boyfriend's an asshole <laughs> don't you but uh he does have a nice car Light study. Looks pretty heavy to me. <sighs> Can I help you with something? Uh, I need a favor. I need the keys to the Maserati. Does this Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <laughs> it's okay. He doesn't know. Oh my god. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. It's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. Before one? I want to know why you need the car. We don't need to worry about that. Fine. I won't. <sighs> okay. I made a bet. A stupid bet that I could turn up at this party with Maserati. That was rash. How much did the bet for? A grand. A grand? <sighs> a hundred of it is yours if you let me have those keys. Two hundred. Okay. I'm gonna push it. In cash tonight. I'm good for it. What is happening? I don't trust it. I don't trust her. But he did say. He did what? say. He did say the keys were hers, so we have an excuse. If he ever asks. Oh shit. Bottom right. What the fuck? Look, no more fast cars tonight, all right? Oh, we're gonna die here. Fuck me. That's the only reason why I accepted her offer because the guy did say it was her car, right? Like, he kind of blew me off in a way, saying that he wasn't the one driving. So that could be a perfect excuse to say, hey, you said the keys were hers, so I gave it to her. So, Turn around. Slowly. I get over it. Drop it. Smile. Don't get in the car. What? Oh shit. Oi, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're going to do. What is happening? What the hell? So random. <laughs> That's so random. Drive. We're gonna have to drive, dude. What are we gonna do if we run? He's gonna shoot me. Unless he's got an empty one, but I, I, I don't want to take my chances. All right. So I can go now, right? 
You should stay right where you are. No, no. I'm a fucking student. Okay, I've got no money. My family's got no money. I'm worth nothing to you. You're done now. Get in the house. What the fuck? Now we're gonna be forced into a heist. Who the fuck is that? It's the night guard. What happened to your arm? You fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place. Kidnapping the first innocent bystander. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, shit. And who the hell's gonna drive it? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant than anyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr. Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice bowl? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. We need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes. Call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Ah, oh, this is where it comes into play. Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. I'm not a murderer. I don't intend to start now. Pass me different oxygen and a couple of cable ties. You stay where you are. Look, you said you wouldn't hurt me. No, I said I wouldn't kill you. That's the leaves. Lots of painful options. Stay calm. Stay calm. Oh! Your dreams, this will all be over. Jeff, no one's picking up. For Christ's sake! They're gonna need me. <laughs> this this guy's gonna have to do. Are you serious? Are you gonna go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, I'm not gonna see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my car. This is so odd, bro. Okay, let's get set. What do I get in return? Don't push your luck. Push it. I'm taking his risk, so I want his share. Fuck off. Shut up, idiot. I'll be worth the money. Okay, I'll tell you what, you two split 50 50. That's the deal. Done. You can't do this. It's done. I'm already doing or we'll find something. I'm already making illegal criminal decisions so if we were innocent at first two minutes ago now we're not because we agreed on this shenanigans I'm starting to think maybe giving that girl the keys do I go along with this and then try and turn them in do I keep my mouth shut and take the money oh my god I'm probably gonna get like the worst fucking ending here, I swear. Hopefully the girl comes for me. She remembers I gave her the keys. I'm I'm really hoping for that. So much for the quiet night. I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already. I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choice are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume you're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when they're far more worthy causes in the world. What, and you're worthy cause, are you? Tonight I am. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could see it that way. You know, maybe you got a point about relieving some of these people of a sliver of their money. 
feel like the music is a bit too loud and I can barely hear them when the music is playing. Making it quite difficult. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Thank you. I see you. Nine thirty. Again to my left. Nine forty. Do I hear nine forty? Nine forty. Thank you, sir. Looking for nine fifty. Nine fifty to my left. Do I hear nine sixty? Fair warning. I'm selling. Nine fifty once. Nine fifty twice. So for nine hundred and fifty thousand pounds. This marvelous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is for its time. Just Thank try to keep it powder dry. I'm sorry, but if I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Why don't you try not talking at all? So we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Trent. Katie. Oh my god, you've got to be fucking kidding me. How many millions? What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three simply beautiful pieces remaining here. examples okay, great. of a red down. phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece, the sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Hmm. Yeah, but he can't afford it. What did he say about that? And so, we should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Oh two million. God. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I'm looking for. Thank the sale you, price, don't on the phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six, I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven, I have to the lady. Please Thank you. Stop bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight, I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir. It's your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Uh, I'm going to intervene. Nine, I'm looking for. Price increases on a logarithmic all around the room. Minimum zero. Nine million to you, sir. Thank you. Very the much. chance of getting away with another bid. Nine minutes. Oh, that's Little right here. Nine five. Fair warning. I'm selling. Trust nine million me. once. Nine million twice. She's gonna do it. So nope. Okay. Yeah, and then I may possibly get right, killed. The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just to follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. Just like you did when you stopped my bidding. So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? I'm gonna do as told for now. I have a feeling those other guys. What are the probabilities? How did I end up here? Those other guys looking at us were probably gonna want to kill us if we outbid them. You did well, stopping mailing like that. Don't know what got into her. Follow me. Just seems to like the rush. 
You don't say. Okay, the assistant's packing up. You've got to move right now. Wait here. When Simon gives the word, meet him out into the middle of the corridor and wait for the guard to come to you. Just say you got lost looking for the box. Simon, use the guard's image. He's not going to believe that. I'll hand the plan. Ready? Yeah, ready. What the fuck? Go. Alert the guard or let this play out. I might not get another chance. Play along. Play along. Play along. Play along. Okay, Matt. Go. Now play along. Stop right there, sir. This is a restricted area. What do you think you're doing down here? I, I got lost coming out the lift. No, this floor staff only. Oh, I was, uh, I was looking for the toilet. No, you wouldn't have come down here unless you meant to. Everything's happening so fast. Just 10 minutes ago, we were parking cars. The camera there on the wall saw everything. There it is. See, if we would have kept bidding, this would have been more obvious. Simon, we're at the door. heavy on the BMW pub commercializing agenda we got going on we got the i8 we got the SUV okay and now we're being chased by the cops oh that's an M series pretty nice oh, I did not expect this to go that smoothly me neither <laughs> Truthful, truthfully I didn't either but here we are. Life is great. Uh, high five. Fuck it. I'm a criminal. Why not? I have to admit, I would have thought you'd live up to the task. Thanks, I guess. And as far as I can see, you're beginning to like playing this game. I'm gonna be honest. Not at all. I didn't choose this life. This life chose me. You're a blank book. Impossible to read. Now, I can read people, but you? No. Pitch back. Look, you don't read people, all right? Just read your own fucked up mind. But if you were capable of reading me, you'd realize that all I'm trying to do is assess the consequences of the crime, okay? Give yourself a break. Sometimes life takes an unplanned turn. You just have to roll with it. Where are we going? Are we going back to the same house? 
kind of sus. Yeah, super sus. Is this where they drop me off and shoot me in the head and just leave my body there? We're about to find out. actually bring me with them that's crazy i just left the cars there nothing there ladies and gentlemen we are back in society let me see it i want to see the bolt just wait this thing stays in the bag until we get to woo's place to turn it into money too fucking right you will take a left some shortage high street Hong Kong City restaurant. It sounds classy. What are we gonna do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop him. Whoa, hold on. Not here. Just keep him quiet until we get rid of this ball. Jeffrey, you're not serious. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! What a bunch of fucking idiots. Oh my god. Oh shit. Mate. Don't tell me Mayden. she's dead. Mayden, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Okay, there's petrol. Look, we gotta get out. Right? Fuck. Just, who cares? Get out of there. They forced you into all this bullshit. Just leave. This is your perfect opportunity. Leave. Although she is kind of good out of all of them. She's probably the best one. Nah, they're fucking dead. All of them. They're all dead. Oh, they're dead. Come on. Let's go. Well, now we can split this 50 50. What about the others? Oh, they're dead. They're all dead, come on. That's just gonna blow up. Where's the bowl? Is the bowl there? where it belongs. What? You heard me. Are you out of your mind? Oh, look, I'm not a criminal, right? You think the police will believe? Unsure. Uh, I don't fucking know. You were seen in the auction house. You are a criminal. No, no, I'm a security <laughs> guard. And I'm bringing the ball back. You're an accessory. Plain and simple. So what's your plan? We have to take this to Mr. Wood. Oh, come on! How do we know he wasn't behind this accident? If we take it to Mr. Wood, that's the best option. Or we turn ourselves on we're both accessories to a major crime. Which is it? Fuck it! I'm taking the gangster life. Okay. Let's, Let's do, do this. It. Fuck it. You know what? I'm gonna own up to it. We're criminals now. It doesn't matter. Probably the worst decision I could have made. I don't care. I got a new ride or die chick with me now. So we partners in crime, I guess you can say. Let's just hope she doesn't have a broken ankle or anything like that. Come on, I need to toughen up. Let's go. This Mr. Wool guy is going to kill us. Going to kill us. We'll see. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can get out of this. Maybe we can get out of all of this. Even after these criminal decisions we've made recently.
Welcome to Hong Kong City. Table for two. We're, uh, we're here to see someone? Table for four? Four on me, please. He's going now. Excuse me. We, uh, we don't want to eat. No problem. Far this way. Follow me, please. No, no, no. Mate, mate, mate. <laughs> we want to see the manager? Tell me. No. Hmm. Could they while you gun you yet tonight go? That's him. Go on. What's your business? Is that even him? Like, how do we know that's Mr. Wu? Why have you brought this here? Because we had a deal. I made no such deal. I have never seen you before. Look, the man who made the deal is dead, okay? That's why we brought you your bow. My bow? Madame, turn by your way, huh? Oh, fuck. Managing to steal that bow. It's quite impressive. But choosing to steal it in the first place. It's nothing short of insanity. We stole this for you. I gave no such order. Not to you or anyone else. What? To steal that bowl is not only madness. It is also suicide. Oh, great. Fuck me. To the Troy family, possession of that bowl is a question of honor. They have fought wars for it. It's price. It's beyond measure. Yeah, we're gonna and die. I know how much they paid for it tonight. And I do not intend to add my life to the bill. Now get out! If you know how much they paid, then you know your 20% is a lot higher than you thought it would be. You want us out of here because you don't want to pay what you promised. I did not order its theft. The only order I am giving is to you. Get out of my restaurant! What should we do with her? If the choice catch you with it, you are dead. If you destroy it, you are dead. <laughs> if you bring it back here, you are dead. Don't 
Doesn't really answer my question now, does it? Not my problem. Atom! Go on, Corday Tohoi! Goodbye. We will not meet again. I don't know if I should trust this dude. Fucking great. Should have gone to the cops. Should have followed my damn first instinct. Oh, we've got nowhere to go. Still wouldn't know my fortune cookie said. Shut up. A young man may trust his ears, but a wise man trusts his heart. Did you know about the choice? How dangerous they are? You fucking did, didn't you? You knew everything Rue just told us, and yet you still bid against them and stole their damn bowl. This doesn't really help us, does it? It was the choice that ran us off the road. We need a plan. What do you suggest? Hiding until we come up with one. <laughs> I know a place. Better plan? No. No, we go to the police, Mei Ling. Like we should have done in the first place. Hiding away from the inevitable. Look, we need to get rid of this bowl before the choice get rid of us. If we take it to the police, they will arrest us. Not for definite, no. I'll make it an even 50%. You do realize your calculations are like up to doing exactly the same thing? Fuck. You just need the numbers to make you feel better. My numbers are based on the information that we have, yeah? And rational mathematical algorithms. Well, my gut feelings are based on experience and my entire subconscious. Do you know how many percent of your brain's activity are conscious? Probably less than one. Now that's a percentage. So trust me when I tell you that going to the police is a bad idea. Fuck me. I should go to the police, but I'm gonna follow her. All right. All right, let's go. I'm a fucking idiot. I guess I'm just trying to live the dream where we can steal something really, really precious and get away right into the sunset and never be found. She's always making me second guess myself and my initial thoughts and decision making skills, if you will. Mate. I don't know. I thought we were delivering the ball for 20% job done. I should be back at home by now, soaking in the bath. Shit. What? There's no bath. Somebody must want this thing. Why has no one tried to contact us? Is there any way we can get to Jeff's phone messages? Or, or, or what about that place in Chelsea? Maybe they've tried to contact us there. Just shut up, Kitty. What? How does that even make any sense? Why'd you do that? Because I felt like it. All right. Fuck it. I'm in there. You got to tell me twice. Pfft. 
Oh my. This is all part of her seduction, I'm telling you. Upstairs. I'm not going to break it. Are you kidding me? What is happening? This is crazy. I don't know where it is. We've all had a very long night. If you don't come to your senses, I can assure you that yours will come even longer. Where's the ball? Look, I haven't got it. I, okay, it was taken from me and now I don't know where it is. Nice. Look, I haven't got your fucking rice ball. Or... Disrespect, we're punished. Now for the final time, where is the real ball? That was the softest I, fucking I slap ever. Where is the ball you took from the auction, not the copy you had in your pocket? The original. The original ball that you stole, where? Huh? What the fuck is that? We know where the ball is. You and your lady friend. Next door. Both of you know. One of you will tell. What have you done to her? So you admit your partnership with her? What have you done to her? What the fuck is this? What have you done to her? I don't understand what the fuck you're saying to me. I don't understand what the fuck you're saying to me. Ball equals pain. The longer you have ball, the longer you have pain. Very simple mathematics. Oh, fuck. Fuck. 
fucking hell. Look, I haven't got your fucking right spot, okay? Fuck! I don't care if you have it or your girl. The ball is ours. First to tear through is free. The other is punished. The classic prisoner's dilemma. Game theory first term. Whatever I tell them lives or dies on what Mei Ling tells them, and vice versa. If our answers are inconsistent, one of us dies. Choose. What? Choose punishment. Know your fate. Long one. The long one. Good choice. But he's shorter. Very honorable death. Oh! One turn and it twists your intestines like a key. Death comes slowly over a long, long time. <gasps> Great. Where is the bull? The original bull. Can I trust her to be reasonable? Or will she keep quiet? Because if she does that, she dies. Look, look, I am genuinely telling you. Okay, I know nothing about swapping the original for a fake. Okay, I, I was forced to be part of the robbery. I had no choice. I, I, I knew nothing about the plan apart from what to do next. There is nothing I can tell you that's of any use. You're just wasting your time with me. That's the absolute truth. Gong Taiwa. Where is the original? Do we repeat? I don't know. Second round, like I thought, the girl kept quiet. Where? Fuck! She followed the strategy. If I get this wrong, then Malin gets one of those knives through the stomach. And so do I. God, I don't know. What can I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> this can only continue. Where is the original? Fuck you! Fuck you! Stop! Fuck! Every finger and every knuckle continuing, every joint. You will see daylight, but still, it will continue. Where is the original? Motherfucker, we don't know! That's tough. Do I even believe that she's in there? Is she a part of this? Is she part of the gang and they think that I'm the only one who knows where the original is? Am I just prolonging the inevitable? Fuck. Fuck. Do I trust her? Then I'll see you in the fucking morning, mate. Oh my... Oh my Rachel. God! The lady says you lied to us. That you're the only one who knows where it is. Oh, for fuck's sake! Can we please speak in fucking English? I didn't say you're the only one who knows where it is. I said you're the only one who can get to it. It's okay. Decided. You bring us the ball. She stays hostage. If you fail, she dies. Oh fuck out of here! I'm... Oh, truth be told, I'm more concerned about my life, not really hers. I I just met her like three hours ago. You know. He fucked 
exorcism. How do you know that? Because I'm the one who forced the copy for him. Oh, fuck me. Enough. Time to go. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I'm sorry. Where's the original? I don't know. Are you kidding me, dude? What sort of bullshit is that? <laughs> what sort of okay. bullshit is that? Okay. Oh. I have to make this fucker pay for what he's done to us. What the hell is he playing at? Rich fucking bastard. All of this for a rice bowl. For fuck's sake. What the fuck am I doing? Am I really doing this? All right. Just keep walking. Just keep moving. I mean, can't we just go? Fuck, I really have no time for this. Can't we just go back to work, bro? Just pretend like none of this ever happened. Let the girl die and be on with it. Keep calm. So bus stop this way, mate. How the fuck should I know, small boy? Honestly, mate, I've got a bus to catch, all right? You got a bus to catch, have you? There's a cop right there. <laughs> We're just having a laugh, aren't we? Huh? Yeah, yeah, sure. We uh, that was pretty stupid. Like, that was horrible writing. How'd that guy not see the cop? Like, the police right behind him. I don't know. That was kind of weird. Blimey, that guy Lily choked me. The auction guy, Jeffrey, nearly strangled. He had access to the bowl after the expert on stage had it, right before we stole it. Right. How do I find him? Just call this man up. What the fuck? Hello, Claire. Oh, hi. I'm, I'm really sorry to call this late, but um, it's Sebastian. Oh, who's speaking, please? It, it's um, it's Stan from work. I, I heard he was in an accident. Is he all right? Is he at home? I'm really sorry to hear that. Where did they take him? They took him to St. Thomas's, but they won't let me visit until the morning. St. Thomas's, thank you. I'm really sorry this happened. Don't worry, it's not your fault. <sighs> I'm sorry, though. All right, let's pay this poor guy a visit. It's not your fault, he said. Actually, it's it's all my fault. Like 95% of it, my fault. Oh, fuck. Hi. You, um, you work here. As you can see. What the fuck? Thought you had some party to go to. Some bet for a grand? Why do you think I'm back here doing an extra shift? Yeah, well, things would have gotten way worse for you. Oh, don't start. What brings you here? Um, uh, I'm here to see someone. Can you tell me what room Sebastian the Clark's in, please? Oh, now giving her the keys is paying its dividend. Uh, no. 
I'm sorry, I can't help you. Oh, come on. It's just a ring the... What? Like it was just a key? Oh, come on. Good night. Look, this isn't about some entry ticket to some party, yeah? This is way bigger. What's so important that you need to see him now? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. I won't believe you if you don't. Okay. It's because tonight, I was kidnapped by a gang of thieves who forced me to be part of a failed robbery, which has resulted in me being pursued by a gang of homicidal triads who want something that I don't have. And Mr. Clark is the only bloody person who knows where it is. I can't wait till visiting hours. I will be dead by visiting hours. Please. The seventh floor. Room 703. And if you get caught, I've never seen or heard of you. Thank you. Hmm. 703. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see if this guy can really help us. <laughs> they won't let me use the internet. <laughs> oh my god. That's how we got the ball at the auction house. <laughs> That's hilarious. He's gonna know it's me. As soon as he sees me, he's gonna know. What are you doing here? You remember me, right? You shouldn't be here. Nurse? No! <laughs> I'm a peaceful man, okay? I do not want to hurt you. But if you try that shit again, I swear to God, the bits of you that are, are going to get a whole lot worse. Do you understand me? Do we have a deal? Yes. Good. Now tell me about your deal with Samuel Parr. I know you replaced the Boston Rice Bowl with a forgery. That's a lie. I tell you nothing. I don't have time for this, mate. Just you and me now. Now, where's the fucking rice bowl? It's the last time I'm going to ask you nicely. Okay. Okay. I swapped it. I swapped it in the elevator. The original with the forgery, and I hate it. <laughs> the cabinet. Pa's cabinet had built an auction. There was a secret compartment in it, right? Yes. Is that where it is? Is the ball still inside? I don't know. This is the truth. The security took everything to the safe storage after the robbery, and they brought me here to the hospital. Safe storage. So it's still inside Haynesworth. Yes. Oh, painkillers, thank Christ. Will this get me into the vault? Yes, if you can mm. get to it, yes. Seven. 
the hill, right? Yes. But you never heard about the hidden compartment. Mm. Get one second. This guy's full blown criminal now. Like there's no there's no going back. There's cameras everywhere. He's he's been seen everywhere. It's done. He's fucked. He's a criminal. I'm surprised we're still alive. Uh oh. time to just go to the police and just say it hey i was forced into this i don't want to be part of it the real bowl was hidden here and there i mean you have all the info you need except then you've got this gang after you you'll probably die but maybe you get some witness protection i don't know Mr. Quinn? Second floor, room 13. Great, thank you. You're very welcome, sir. That actually worked. We have to look so damn suspicious. What the hell do you think you're doing? Your colleague let me in. Who? Mr. Quinn. Mr. Quinn. Mr. Quinn, yeah. Wait here. get to see on the computer Ground floor. this place oh no it's car park okay we're good we're good how the hell am i gonna find van seven from out here should have gone to the car park everything happens so fast it's like maybe it's better we got out of the building i don't know maybe in the building Might just be there. And seven. There there it is. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? This is so crazy, man. You barely have any time. 
Samuel Parr. That's what it was, right? There's no way those guys don't hear what's going on in the front. Decline it. Hello. Mate. I don't know how much time. Have you got the ball? Yeah. I'm in the back of Hank's welfare. I've got it in my hand. Don't bring it here. What are you talking about? They're gonna fucking kill you. I can't just do that anyway. I need to prove to them that this was past plan right from the start. Uh, any suggestions? We need to get part of it. Salsi. Salsi, no. Mate. Don't go wrong. Mate, Ling. Bro, this girl's always making me second guess the fucking decisions. What do I do? Do I risk going to Pa's house to get us both out of this? Or do I take it to the choice? Now's my chance. No, I can't leave her to die. How could I live with that? I just need some kind of plan. Oh. Chief Psycho. Oh my god. Good morning. I have an appointment with Samuel Parr. Oh, Mr. Parr does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. Oh, he'll want to see me. And he'll want to see me right now. Wait here. Wait, you can't. Mr. Parr. Uh, thank you, well, I've... I'll deal with this. Remember, this guy didn't really want to sell it. Who are you? I'm here to tell you that unfortunately Mr. Leclerc failed to carry out his task. What the hell are you talking about? The bomb that was taken from Hainsworth tonight was a real one. Audrey never left that compartment. Where is it? Where is it? This is the copy. Don't think of us as stupid to come in here with a real one, do you? How did you find out? I think Mailing can recognize her own work when she sees it. We paid her to do it. So she won't mind me destroying it? Even with the choice still on the rampage. You think I'm worried about that? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Then let's find out. That would be unwise, wouldn't it? Not with the choice on the rampage. Mm. Smart move. Now, where is my original? Mailing has it. What does she want? I don't know. Ask her. <laughs> oh, shit. Clever little girl, aren't you? Not just a pretty face. How much? Half the selling price. Four point five million. I'd consider keeping the copy for that. Then I might consider telling the choice. 
You fucking little bitch. Don't get on your high horse, Samuel. You tried to kill us all in that car crash. And what about your bimbo? Bimbo? <laughs> he's going to watch you transfer the money into my bank account. Then he's going to walk out of there and bring you the original. If she plays us. What if she fucking plays us too, dude? It's done? It's done. Now get me my original. Okay. My friend is going to fetch her for you right now. What the hell? Mate, he knows. Are you outside the house? Mate, get out of there now. The bomb that Pa tried to steal from you. This is yours. It's got nothing more to do with this, all right? Uh, just, just wait. Oh, what? Help me, please. What's he going to do with it? Discuss the nature of Chinese heritage. Uh oh. Are we good? That was a hell of a plan. What were the chances? Fuck the chances. That's what I say. Wait, did we? Did we really? Was that a good ending? Did we really get a good end? Out of the seven possible endings, did we really just get the best ending? I don't know if that's the best ending, but we survived. We have millions of dollars if this girl decides to share her bank account with me now, right? And we... Pretty, pretty freaking interesting. But that was really cool. I believe that there is basically nothing to see. There's no, like, you know, mid credit scene or anything like that. Again, I'm pretty surprised that we got that ending. I thought we were going to die eventually or she was going to get killed. Um, I did not expect us to to survive, at least not both of us. Right. So that was kind of a surprise to me. I'm going to check this out later on and I'm going to see what other endings there are and then kind of just gauge to see if I got the good ending or just a good ending in general. Again, there are seven different ones, so I'm pretty intrigued. But thank you guys for watching. This was pretty cool. Something completely different. I thought I'd, I'd just do it to kind of mix it up. Do something a little bit, you know, different than just the video game. Um, let me know in the comments, please, your thoughts and opinions. Uh, what you think of it? I thought it was pretty sweet. Not the greatest story in the world, but, but it was pretty good. The acting was a little iffy here and there. Some of the choices were also a little iffy. But overall, I had a pretty good time. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you later.